All right, check it out. I got two valve spring compressors for the head off of this Ford tractor, and hopefully we can get this cleaned up today. I'm not really sure which one of these I want to use. I'm not really familiar with the differences. So you guys know I don't claim to be a mechanic or whatever, and uh, I figured since I'll probably end up using whatever I get again, I was going to buy a couple styles, so that way no matter what I work on, I should be pretty well set. Uh, I think these came with like some instructions or something, but... Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's just see what happens. Man, I know this is a pretty simple technology, but I still get super nervous around stuff under spring tension like this because it flies apart and that's when people lose eyes and like chunks of skin and whatnot. Hmm. Yeah, I smacked it a couple times and it's not popping the keeper things loose. I'm not really sure what to do at this point. It looks like it's got to be compressed more, but unless I grab that other rung on the spring... Ah, oh, it's hard to do that. So which way is loose? This thing could use a little bit of oil on it. This is the OTC 4573 for this. Curious. I bought both of these things, and I think that it was only like 80 bucks or something for the two of them, and they both look pretty decent. Hmm, I don't know. The Steiner... Tractor parts girl uses one of these, so like maybe we'll, or at least something like this, so maybe we'll try that. Shoot, I should watch that video again. Oh well, can't be bothered to. I think that goes like that, and this goes kind of like that. Hmm, this is how stuff gets broken, isn't it? Yeah, I see how this works. This goes over the, the valve stem like that. Man, it's hard to get leverage on this. These are some very stiff springs. They do not seem to be worn out even after 70 years of use, which I really, really like. I'm pretty sure this one has a manual. I think it's even, oh yeah, it's over near the box. I'm glancing at the picture. Yeah, we're fairly close-ish to what it's saying to do. Yeah, that's a lot of spring pressure. I can, I can force it and I can overpower it, but I don't think I really want to do that. I think what we do is we get this on here loose and then we turn the little T-handle on the other side to actually take the tension off of that spring. I think that's the more intelligent way to do this. But... But there's two sizes of these cups. There's this one and there's this one which is bigger. And I think I want the larger one because um, the size of the spring retainer on that's actually fairly wide for the size of the engine. So we're gonna switch this around. Man, I will do literally anything to avoid actually reading the instructions or watching the instructional video again. Can't take 10 minutes to do that when I can mess around with this all afternoon and cause some property damage in the meantime. I think this has to go on the other side because reasons. Got it. All right, cool. So now I think we turn in this, which is resting on the uh, yonder side of the valve. And that further compresses the spring. Oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what I needed. So now we should be able to take all of that, whatever that stuff is off of there. Now, of course, I don't actually know how to do that, but I guess I'm about to find out. How do these keepers work? Yeah. All right, that thing's loose. So now these other things are about to fall out. I think, I hope, I'm not really brave enough to stick a finger into that. Lucky, go lay down. Don't lose an eye. But that's what uh, tools of a lifetime work here for now, isn't it? All right, I got the little doohickeys out. Got to set those someplace where they're guaranteed to get lost. And uh, there was that retainer ring thing. Hopefully the whole thing just comes apart now. Oh yeah, oh no. Dropped some stuff. Okay. Oh. Valve spring tool works great. Oh crap, I gotta crawl all over this floor now! Man, that hit the ground rolling and it is gone. Oh well, we got most of it. Maybe we can just like weld it on there somehow. Now for the actual valve, we got another thingamajigger on there. Valve's out, cool. Nice, not so much as a pinched finger.
All right, so I got good news and bad news. The good news is I was able to get all these valves removed and this tool is truly the tool for the job. Nothing against this little thing. I realize, you know, there's different styles of these uh, valve spring compressors. I guess they're, you know, some are better for other things than others. I don't really understand the differences, uh, but since I work on all sorts of stuff and I plan to indefinitely, I figure I get a decent quality version of each so that way I'm just kind of set. And uh, so the good news is they all came out really easily. Like, you know, it took me a few minutes to figure out how to use this thing, but once I did, it was a matter of seconds to get each of these valves decompressed and removed, and it was excellent. The last one chose to fight me a little bit for some reason. I'm not really entirely sure why. Uh, but other than that, they all came out very easily. That's the good news. The bad news is I was thinking to myself, man, yeah, there's all this carbon buildup and everything on here. I really need to get these things soaking in some solvent to get all this stuff loosened up so I can clean them up. And so I was transferring them out of these little baggies into these tin cans. And that's when I noticed that for the valve number one, we're actually missing one of the little keepers. I'm not really sure how. I was pretty much 100% positive it made it into the bag. However, you'll remember that valve number one is the one that we did not take apart in this video. It's the one that we took apart uh, like several days ago. And since then, I've swept in here and so that thing is going to be 100% gone and uh, it basically no longer exists as far as I'm concerned. So the bad news is I'm going to have to order just one keeper, which I probably can't do. So I'll probably have to buy like, you know, one whole valve set per thingamajigger or something. But whatever the case, I have to go order some parts. And um, <laughs> so that's bad. But the good news is that means we, uh, these things are going to have like a week to soak now. And, you know, until the valve keeper gets here. The other thing that's good is I kind of discovered, I was looking at this and I was like, man, I bet there's a thermostat that goes in there and there probably is supposed to be. I mean, that looks like a place where a thermostat would go, but there isn't one. So I think someone took it out and it's missing. So this gives me a chance to order that as well. I mean, it's a bummer, but realistically, since I have to get one of these, we really couldn't have put the engine back together any sooner. And uh, yeah, you guys can laugh at me or whatever, but if that's the worst thing that happens today, I'll be doing pretty well. I am doing pretty well today, as a matter of fact. Uh, but anyway, for this video, uh, pretty, pretty happy with this valve spring compressor. I'm happy I learned how to use one of these, and I've made yet another step. This is the thing, you know, it's baby steps with everything. This is why I always recommend if you're getting an old tractor like this that you actually plan to use, you do it like the season before, or at least the winter before you're actually going to need it, because everything takes forever. The deeper you go into it, the more stuff you find out that you need, and uh, you know, you do stupid little things like lose parts you have to replace and then things happen that are outside your control. Like what happened on the Alice Chalmers, which is I ordered parts, oh, they'll be here in four days. Like two solid weeks later or something close to that. I don't remember exactly, but it was, it was down for quite a while. They finally showed up. So, oh man. Yeah, I can't believe I did that, but you know what? Things like this happen when you're working on stuff. And it's just, it has to be that valve too. If it was any of the other seven, it wouldn't be that big a deal. I could just crawl around on the floor or whatever and find it. But of course it's, it, it just, it has to be the one that I took apart days ago. <sighs> well, whatever the case, you guys can laugh at me. I don't even care. Be back at it in a week.